If you're going to State Fair Park tonight, you want to add some extra time to your travels. Yeah, because new this year, every visitor will have to pass through a metal detector. Jonah Kaplan is live to show us the security changes. Jonah. Yeah, Charles and Shannon, this is a major event. It attracts major crowds like we have today on this opening day. And for people going through that, the officials here say there's no specific threat, but it's no different than any Brewers game or Summerfest either. You'll still be greeted with a smile, even if these are more sobering times. It wasn't no big deal. Put your wallet and your keys in the dish, walk right through. This is state fair number 40 for Jeff Scott, who grew up in Milwaukee. He knows the foods on a stick have changed, but so have the surroundings. More than 550 public safety staff now patrol Grandstand Avenue. I don't think we need it that much right now, but I mean, towards evening, might, might have more troubles, but it's been, always been pretty safe here. We never had any troubles with anything, so it's just nice to see him, make sure everything's good. State Fair police officers want visitors to see them and talk to them when and if they see something suspicious. MPD help design these new signs now posted across the fairgrounds. Certainly, it's a reminder to, you know, for people to be on the vigilant. Again, officials maintain there's no specific threat, but something suspicious doesn't just mean unattended bag. It's usually the kind of circumstances that are unusual. You know, we're dealing with very warm weather out here today. Obviously, somebody wearing heavy clothing, uh, that would be uh, unusual in, in today's day at the, at the fair. Uh, police, of course, in blue, the public safety staff, they'll be wearing neon, uh, usually vests or shirts. They are visible everywhere, and they're very nice and approachable, too. We are live here at the fair. Jonah Kaplan, today's TMJ4.